Oh, hi, yeah. So, I'm going to be teaching you some self-vaccination. If you're wondering what all that's about, it's it's because I care about my health and, yeah, I'm in touch with my feminine side. Okay, so let's focus on something more important, shall we? And that is self-vaccination. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, this isn't interesting in the slightest, but you need to know it, so enjoy. Okay, now step one, you need to cut up the tissue in cold isotonic buffered solution. So basically, here's your little bits of tissue, that's a knife cutting it, and that's the cold buffered isotonic solution. Yeah. And number two, after you do that, then the cut up tissue is broken up even more in the homogenizer, which is basically a blender, but without the blades. The crap version. Excuse my French. And then, in the homogenize, after being homogenized, the tissue is spun in an ultra centrifuge, sort of like a circus ride. At a low speed for 10 minutes. That's not always the case, that's only if, if you want to get yourself some nuclei. Okay, now when being spun in a ultra centrifuge, you change the settings of it to get different sediments. So, if you want to get nuclei, because there's nothing more useful than that, then you need to set the speed of centrifuge slash gravitational force at 1000 for 10 minutes. The mitochondria, the speed of centrifuge slash gravitational force, is 3500 times for 10 minutes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, for lysosomes, you want to set the speed slash gravitational force at 16,500 times for 20 minutes. And for ribosomes, the speed slash gravitational force has to be 100,000 times for 60 minutes. I hope this helps you. There's a lot more to it, so I suggest reading some of it and just try and concentrate. It's not interesting. It's bored me. It's bored you. We're all bored. So, good luck and stay in school.